guys welcome back to our channel tonight we're going to put um embroidered u.s marine logo on this bodysuit um my husband bought was it a three pack from meyer and this is the first time for me to do a onesie so or a bodysuit so this is gonna be different and i'm gonna be using my 230e Janome. So let's get to the let's get to the project. Is it good? Yep. Can you see my hoop? Yeah. All right. Okay, you guys. I already have my hoop, uh, which is a five and a half by five and a half um, with stabilizer. I'm just using a tearaway stabilizer and then a cutaway stabilizer on top. I like to float everything, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, since my attachment to my machine is on this side, I am going to put my bodysuit on. Just like I'm trying to dress my hoop. Just put it in. I'm dressing, uh, I'm dressing my hoop. It's funny that you said that. Oh, <laughs> well, okay. It is exactly how you put it on a baby. And, right through it. And yes, I am Lily talking here. Uh, yep, Lily is our. Is our camera helper right now. And then, the so on the machine, I have my um, embroidery hoop or the um, design to be centered and facing this way because the arm is here. So I'm trying to feel here is careful. Here's the center. That's all right. And then here's the center because I can feel my little nubs. So the center of my project should be here. Um, and we can move it once I get onto onto my machine. Oh, will they show this? Turn it over there. We'll I will. We'll stop it so people don't have to see it moving. It's hard on them. My machines are behind me. Machine. All right. I, so I'm gonna spray it. No, not yet. I'm doing 505 temporary adhesive. Shake it right. in there. And to, hello. Try to get in there. And hello, I am Lily's pet. My name Lily, is. Lily, please don't do that. Little, little one. Okay. It's little one. So bye. No more. Bye bye. All right, and we're going to we're gonna um, pin it because I don't want it to move on me. Um, so I'll make sure I put my hand in there so it doesn't. Um, Oh, I don't poke through the second layer. So I'm gonna poke through it. This is my first time doing a bodysuit. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, we thought this would be kind of cool. Um, a coworker of my husband wants, um, wants me to put some US Marine logos on shirts for him because he's a, a vet. And, um, He's got a grandchild on the way. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but this will be a um, unisex um, body um, body suit. Okay. So no matter if it's a boy or a girl, they'll be able to wear it. And we thought, and he wanted a kind of a stitch out. Well, you don't want to waste a stitch out. I mean, this is going to take. This is a 35 minute stitch out. Without me switching my fat, my colors on my thread. So we're going to speed it up. I'm not going to show you guys every single stitch um, that it's doing. But I will show you, you know, a good chunk of it each. But there we go. We got it in there. And now we don't want to put it on the machine like that. Because I have a single needle. There is no way of running it like that. So what I do is pull it up. It's kind of like when I do my stocking caps or my knitted, um, my knitted hats. This is going to be the fun part to keep this bad boy open. But we will do it. It is doable. We will do it. So I need my tape. I'm a believer of tape. We're going to tape everything out of the way. <laughs> this is going to look funny, but. We will, we'll get her done. There we go, look at that. Uh, just like knitting. Please don't. 
Somebody grab a hold of that and it's going to stab them. It's going to hurt. Well, he's playing with my pin. My pin cushion. This one's a long one. It's an antique pin. That pin's from my great grandma. I'm just going to put this back. I got my great grandma sewing sewing stuff and that was in there so who knows how old that was i call it antique because it came from my great grandma and if you went any smaller this i don't think i'd be able to do it and like some people will take theirs apart but if you had the proper equipment to re-sew it back up like a serger cool for them i don't <laughs> yeah my mom is actually great at doing sewing things. She made me a hat. If you you can go and watch that video because um that video is um all you gotta do is um type in or you could say Mary um Mary Mary Gorzak and then you will um find our channel. Well, if you want to watch any gaming too. Your hat's not on there right now. Because I have not finished that video yet. I have to do a voiceover. Yeah. So that video's taking a little longer. But you can watch it once it comes in. There we go. Alright, that should give me enough. And I know that the center of my onesie is... <laughs> there's my center nub right there. So my center will be here. And then my center knob is right here uh -oh. and here. Oh, it's up in there. I know where center. <laughs> so there we go. All right, let's go to the machine. What do you want, Lily? Lily? Can you turn the camera off. Where? Turn the camera off. Turn it off. Yes. Like do the camera off. Okay, you guys. I put it on the machine. I double check, make sure there's no onesie underneath okay so and make sure it, it works so i'm gonna trace good so looks like it's doing good oh i might have to get some tape right there all right lily can you grab me my tape please on the table real fast i'm gonna put a little piece of tape on the side where where it's a little falling in excuse me lily working in kind of tight quarters here. Yeah, she's working in tight quarters. Cause this is, this is kind of close to the machine and she needs to get around it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do a trace again. Lily, careful please. Sorry. Trace again to make sure I did get it out of the way. All right, it looks good. It is out of the way now. Just zoom in a bit more just so they can see. Careful, cause remember where the camera is right there. All right, you guys. Water soluble stabilizer on top. Actually, which I might want to tape that down. Lily is learning how to run the camera a little bit. Yeah, because that, this is my first day on the job doing it. First day on the job. Yeah, I'm gonna call this as my job. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I give her a job sure it doesn't stick to my uh my tape is letting go i could probably get clips out but i like my I like my tape she uses a lot of her tape and some of her videos there you go. Right. maybe even some with her doing guys we're gonna we have the gold loaded and we're gonna put that and we're gonna push start and fingers crossed this turns out good because i have never done a Fingers. Oh, it's saying thread. I have to redo my thread already. Wow. Right through, right, redo thread. Wow. Still ready, redo thread. Okay. I don't know why. We gotta de zoom here. You don't have to zoom in on my. On my yeah, right. it's good. Flip back down. We're going to try this again. Not sure why it did that, but yeah. obviously you did not feel as though it was doing something. 
But there we go. There's the starting of the gold. And be up closer. This is my 230. I'm supposed to be the one that Lily, please. Don't. Leave it right there, okay? So this is supposed to be the U.S. Marine um, logo. So I'm going to let this part go. It's got only three colors. It's got gold, black, and silver. But uh, we'll come back after this gold um, step is done. And I will show you the next. pretty happy with how the anchor's looking so far. All right, with this, since my 230 doesn't cut its own jump threads, we're gonna go through and cut a jump thread right here. Cause we don't want the machine to run over this. There we go. And then we're gonna put, we're gonna just push start again and then she's gonna Mom, keep going. Mom, next time can I press on the start for, or yeah, stop? All right, there you guys go. There's our uh, sneak peek. We will see you when we get back with it all done. Bye-bye. We'll see you again. All right. We, I just re-threaded it with some black now. Put the foot down. And push the start button, Lily. All right. Oh. Does it say something? Hmm. I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, it's okay. gonna be video no. of a problem. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Just snip it. What you have? see if it goes this time better for her. She's not usually able or allowed to mess with my machines much because they're, they're my machines and they're, they're easily broke, breakable. Steven thinks I'm mean, but um, I do want her to kind of learn, so. Oh, there's this thing. Yeah, it jumped, so we're gonna stop it for a second. Can I cut it, please? No, this. This is something, no, sorry. We don't want to accidentally cut the wrong threads. You cut wrong thread once. Mm, once before I have, yeah. All right. I got one. All right. There we go. Sky. Yeah. We'll go all the way down. Go, go. And then add back where it was. This I think is the 
think it's going to be quite a big stitch up. Um, I think that this does a lot of the, um, the, the chain and some, a lot of the globe. So it's going to be a long part. Give you a sneak peek before big chunk of it's well when a big chunk of it is done. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Alright you guys, here's a close-up. It is stitching silver on the globe right now. Just want to give you guys kind of a sneak peek of who that's looking. We will come back when it is done. Okay. Sorry you guys, I thought I started this. I was talking and it wasn't even recording. Anyways, I re I put um, I took the silver off and we went back to gold now. Um, this is all just three colors, so I'm back to gold. So it's filling in the globe where the land parts are. So once it's done with that, I will come back and show you the end result and then put on the next color. There's eight different steps. So um, I just don't want you guys to have to sit through a whole 35, 45 minute video to watch this um, stitch up. All right, we'll be back. All right, now we are back to the black. I think it's gonna do mostly just an outline. I could be wrong. But look at how cool that's turning out, you guys. Pretty happy with it so far. It's really nice. take me a day or two to get it in there, depending. <laughs> um, depends on if I have time to go in and update my descriptions or not. So, um, I believe it's almost done doing the black. So, um, once it's done doing the black, I will stop the video and change it back to the next color. Next color is back to the um, gold. I'm just gonna do, do around this part. This has so far been, has uh, ended up being a very good pile. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm running this on my 230 uh, Gioni. Pretty glad that my husband didn't get me any smaller bodysuits. Um, I think that'd be quite a challenge. <laughs> so I am gonna turn off the video for a minute and I will see you right back here after I change the thread. This is the eagle. So this is going to be quite a bit of a stitch out because that's a nice thick um, area. So it's doing the 
bottom layer of the stitches, it helps keep, um, keep the embroidery in place. It's like a base stitch. Well, all right, you guys. I'll come back when there's a little bit more stitched out. All right, you guys, coming back in. Here it's starting to be filled. For some reason, machine machine is starting to do a squeak. Um, I did um, oil it not too long ago, so maybe it needs to be oiled again or look over. But anyways, there we go, you guys. I will be back once it's done. Bird, or the eagle is done. Now it's going to do a stitch and outline. And I believe some details on the eagle. We are going to stop it and do a trim real fast. Oops, sorry about my hand, you guys. Bad camera angle, I'll tell you. Bad camera angle. There we go. And we're going. Stitch out says it's only a seven minutes left. So it's going to detail for the eagle right now. Um, we'll be back as soon as it's done doing the eagle. Alright you guys, here is the last, oops, the last color. Which is back to being gold. And this is where it's going to print out U.S. Marine Corps. Um, well, the initial so I'm going to let it stitch out and I will come back because this is about five minutes to out. I'll see you guys in five. All right, you guys, there it is. I it just finished all the, the font. There we go. The U.S. Marine Corps. Now let's take it off and see if I did our right job. First time um, bodysuit. Trying to remember what you call it other than the copyrighted onesie so now we get to untape that's the fun part untape i don't like untaping but this is her first time doing it well this i mean i've done i've done a shirt i've done polos i mean that's a shirt also but it's a it's a left chest logo for the polos um, do you guys want to see that video it's it's in my um, embroidery library or playlist um, also I plan on making a newer updated one soon so with a little more tips and tricks I have learned since I started doing them um, that'll be another day but this was this is a um, stitch out to try it a practice stitch out and a gift for a gentleman at my husband's work and I check make sure all the jump stitches are gone because I don't like taking my um, water soluble stabilizer off and possibly pulling a thread I mean the machines do make knots but they only make knots to a certain amount um, so the less chances of pulling them out the better it is carefully take the tip of my scissors and pull some of it out don't need to do all of it i can do more of it later oh it almost went into my coffee all right and since my 230 doesn't I cut jump strip jump things thing. okay Lily. i'm just gonna trim trim it trim it Where it hold, you know, you don't want to pull, pull it off of there when you have these stitches on here. You don't want to come too close because you could easily cut the knots out. I'm just trying to trim it. Hopefully, you I'm on, on, oops, on camera for that. So I kicked the camera. Okay. And I got big feet, so I just kick things. There we go. I oh, think that's probably crying. good. She's always kicking stuff and always is around my tablet. I don't throw your tablet. And you don't have a tablet. All right, you guys. I've had any. Let's take, here. Easiest way to probably put this, take the pins out, is to kind of redress the hoop. Okay. 
Put my pins back in there, please, Molly, since you decided to take my tomato. <laughs> Lily's playing with my pins. As long as you don't poke yourself, I don't care. And your sister's not out here to see you doing it. Because I don't want her doing it. At two, that would hurt. There we go. Okay. All the pins are gone. Undo the hoop. Pull the bottom piece of the hoop out. Top piece. And we're stuck with this. Like I said, I do the tear away. Um, it just helps me with the stabilizing. I do it with my polos too. And then this is the cutaway. Pull the cutaway a little bit. Like not hard enough to hurt the stitches, but just enough um, so I can cut around it. And I will put what they call is tender touch on it, which I have to find it. So I do about maybe a quarter inch away from the stitches. Um, the baby will not be able to feel this. Once I put the tender touch on there, Steven is in the bathroom with Evie taking a bath. <laughs> so you're gonna hear more weird stuff if you haven't noticed earlier. Oh, oh, um, grab that pin, please. That will hurt. Where is it? I don't know. But there we go. We're not gonna go in between any of that because that will just mess up, can mess up stitch. So here's, let's reveal it. No, don't mess with the. Just hold on. If you have to, just remember where it is. We'll get it. I got it. All right. We tuck the little shoulders up in there. And there you guys go. My first bodysuit camera. Here we go. Zoom in. What do you guys think? I think I did all right. I think it's pretty centered to a point. I mean, I've never done this before. Oops never done this before so my lighting is not the best I am in my dining room there we go you guys so if you guys enjoyed this video and this tutorial please consider oh my goodness please consider doing as what Lily just said and if you do please hit that notification bell <laughs> It'll make your phone sound like that. Let us know what you think. Um, if you do make it through the end of this video, I don't know. What's your favorite color? I just want to know the answer to that. Let me know. Is Mine is green. Glow? Lily, do you want to turn off the video for me, please? My favorite color Will is you go turn the video black, off, purple, and pink. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye Hope you guys. guys. Have a great Thank day. <laughs> Like, Napo. <laughs>